You're listening to The Voluntary Life, where you can hear ideas for finding freedom in an unfree world. Visit thevoluntarylife.com to connect with the show and hear all past episodes. Here's your host, Jake. Hi, it's Jake here. Welcome to The Voluntary Life. This is the second part of an introductory series about the voluntary life. And in the last episode, I talked about the concept of the voluntary life, uh, a life lived as freely as possible, making your own choices about your life uh, to the greatest extent that that's possible. And I talked about how that is the highest form of individuation that you can have and that the more free we are, the more alive we really get to be. And I also talked about some of the other sort of principles informing the concepts of voluntary life, the idea that voluntary living is the only moral way to live through living the non-aggression principle, uh, the idea that uh, voluntary interaction is the very best thing that humans can do and is what's given us all of the economic and social development and civilization in the best sense of the word that we've got through trade and, and voluntary commerce. And I talked about how it always has to start from yourself outwards, that voluntary living can only be implemented in on an individual basis and change can only happen from from yourself outwards. And so those were some of the things that I covered um, in the previous episode. And in this episode, I'd like to talk about The Voluntary Life as a podcast and to talk about the thinking behind this podcast and how it's developed and where it might go in the future. So I guess uh, just to start off, I mean, the, the the podcast itself, just in practical terms, it's been going for a couple of years now. It, it now comes out once a week. Um, it's a little bit erratic at the moment when it comes out because I'm I'm traveling, but it is once a week. And it's a combination of interviews with people who are really leading the voluntary life and solo casts that I've done. Um, it started off as a series of book discussions um, from a, a Freedom Book Club that I was doing on Skype. And now it's evolved um, into a podcast about these topics re- all related to the concept of finding freedom in an unfree world. And as well as individual um, interviews, there's also a number of uh, topics that I've covered in more depth in their own sort of series. Uh, there's the entrepreneurship series. Um, there's also a series of, of podcasts about investment. And you can find those on YouTube. There are playlists for each of those series. And also you can find it by clicking on the tags on the website. So there's an entrepreneurship tag and an investment tag. And there's probably going to be a financial freedom series as well. And as well as the podcast, there is um, all of the kind of social media stuff, uh, the website itself, voluntarylife.com, the Facebook page, uh, the Twitter uh, feed, which is at the voluntary, um, my email, which is jake at the voluntarylife.com, and YouTube, where the videos, um, which are just the, the podcast themselves, just put onto, onto YouTube. So that's the sort of practical stuff about the podcast. The purpose of the podcast, as it has sort of become clearer for me, is really about empowerment. I mean, that's it's the the concept is ideas for finding freedom in an unfree world. And the idea really is, therefore, about ways of actually getting more freedom in your own life, in your personal life, um, and not waiting for the world to change or trying to change others before you can actually change something about your own life. And that really has led to me focusing the show much more on constructive things. The show is really now about what you can do uh, rather than sort of more abstract critiques of what's wrong with the world. So, for example, I haven't done a podcast about the Federal Reserve and fiat money and the problem of banksterism and all of those problems. I have done a podcast about what you can do about inflation yourself and how you can protect yourself in terms of buying hard assets and how you can work out what's happening in terms of inflation. So the focus is very much on actionable things, on um, issues that are personally relevant at the individual level. So it's about finding freedom in, in living the voluntary life at the individual level. As I said in the previous episode, it's not called the voluntary society, it's called the voluntary life. And that's very conscious because it's about actually living it um, in your own life. And the aim of the podcast is really to be about empowerment, to, uh, to be about giving you choices that you never thought you had. 
um, whether those choices are to do with starting a business, if you've never really sort of thought about that being a, a, an option that you can do, whether they're about finding financial freedom and getting out of debt, going to live abroad and, uh, you know, many, many different um, choices that you might not have thought of, all that give you more freedom uh, in your own life. Uh, because the more choices you have, the more chance you have to exercise um, those choices and to express yourself in the in the freedom of choice. And I'm doing this because I was really interested in learning myself about other opportunities for getting more freedom in my life. And I've learned through the people that I've interviewed all about aspects of freedom that I really didn't know anything about, like unschooling, for example. That was something that I didn't know anything about when I started the voluntary life and through the interviews and discussions um, that, that I've done on previous podcasts about that, I've, uh, I've learned a huge amount that is going to be really relevant for when, you know, for if and when we have kids. So that's the idea. And it's also been fantastic to get emails from people who have been listening to the podcast who've told me that it has opened them up to choices that they wouldn't have previously considered. Um, people who never thought about living abroad um, and who've come to that through the ideas talked about on this podcast and people who've thought about starting a business but have found the the, the ideas talked about in the voluntary life have really helped them uh, to actually make the move to go and do that. That's really rewarding for me to hear that, that, that people are finding that about the podcast because that's the whole idea. And the other key sort of purpose driving the choice of episodes and, and driving the whole podcast is, as well as it being about empowerment, it's also about integrity and finding freedom in all different areas uh, of your life. And that's why there are all these different topics discussed, like entrepreneurship and financial freedom, unschooling, personal freedom in relationships, psychological freedom. Um, these are all different aspects that I feel um, uh, are really significant to the level of freedom that you actually experience in your life. And I've got more expertise in some of these areas like entrepreneurship and other people that I interview have expertise in other areas. And the idea is really for us all to learn from each other and hopefully for that to provide um, an opportunity for for you listening to the podcast again, to, to really open up the choices available in terms of, of freedom that you can experience. So that's why I do the interviews as well, um, is to explore and kind of showcase voluntary living um, from other people who are supporting themselves in a kind of unjobbing way and doing their own, finding their own ways of having freedom at work and people who are unschooling their kids and so forth. That's where the the interviews is where I learn about how to live more free and and to live a more voluntary life, and hopefully that you know that will be that is useful for for you too. In terms of where the podcast goes in the future, I'm really not sure. I'm I'm really enjoying doing it at the moment. Uh, it's a lot of fun for me to do the podcast. If I do choose to do more um, with the podcast, it, it's got to wash its face. It's got to be a viable proposition if I'm going to expand it. So. If I did do that, I'll need to think carefully about what the business model would be for doing that. I'm, I am accepting donations for the podcast and I really do appreciate all the donations I get. And they've been very helpful in terms of me getting things like um, the buffer music and the buffer voiceover done and, and the microphones and the hosting and, and the uh, portable mic that I'm using now while I'm traveling to record the podcast. So the donations have really helped um, in terms of, of expanding what the quality of the podcast and I really really appreciate it if you can donate but uh, in terms of sort of taking the podcast forward I would need to think about what the business model would be and what exactly I'd want to do and I guess that's why I'm doing this podcast is because I'm really interested to hear what people are interested in and what they think the you know the, the need is I think in terms of uh, expanding the voluntary life if I do do more the most interesting thing would be to try and provide more of an opportunity for um, community and social interaction. I have a number of plans um, to publish some of my ideas in various books and so forth. 
uh, and I'm looking forward to doing that. And I think that'll be interesting and hopefully it'll be helpful for everyone. But beyond just me doing that, I, I think the really interesting thing would be for people to be able to connect with each other. And for the listeners of the show who are uh, interested in living the voluntary life to have an opportunity to, well, firstly, be less isolated and to find other like-minded, like-minded people and also to learn from each other. Um, I know a lot of people who are very free in one or two aspects of their life, and they're really not that free in other aspects of their life. I know some people who've worked incredibly hard on getting the maximum amount of freedom in their personal lives in terms of their relationships, especially with their family and friends. And they've ended relationships that um, where they haven't felt free. And I've done that too. And so some people work really hard on that aspect, but then a lot of those people are also finding it difficult to get traction in terms of financial freedom or in terms of freedom in work. Um, and they're really, you know, they're really struggling with that. On the other hand, I've met many entrepreneurs who have a lot of financial freedom and a lot of freedom at work, and they just have terrible social lives. And uh, I, I don't think that they feel that free at all um, in terms of of their uh, personal relationships. I would hope that when people um, experience the benefits of getting more freedom in one aspect of their life, that they can really stretch and experience the benefits of living a more voluntary life in other areas of their life. I mean, that's, that, that's what I'm most interested in doing is living as free as I can in all aspects of my life. And I'm sure that there's lots of people out there listening to this who are interested in exactly the same. I would like to, if I can, uh, grow the podcast to use the voluntary life as a way of connecting uh, those people with each other. I don't know if that's just as simple as a message board and that kind of thing. I've seen a lot of message boards and they're great. They're really good for getting to meet people, but they also, I, I don't think they necessarily give you the traction to, to really make step changes in your life. Often they can become a lot of talk and not so much real, real change. So I think the way that I imagine people getting more traction is by having a chance to really even physically meet up with each other in real life. And I'm thinking about how could that happen and what would be the opportunities? You know, would people be interested in that? Would that be something, whether that's through like an annual big get together of some kind, or it, whether it's through a series of, um, I don't know, short events or courses or, or maybe it could be d done online. Maybe it, it could be, uh, events held online as well as a message board and other things like that. Anyway, I don't, I don't know what the, um, answer to this is and, um, I'm still mulling it all over in my own head and thinking about it. So I would very much like to hear your thoughts. You know, I'd like to hear what you, uh, would like to get out of the show and maybe you can help me think about, you know, what the opportunities are for expansion of the voluntary life as, uh, not just as a show, but as an enterprise, which is about empowering more freedom in your personal life. Um, and which is based on the idea of living as freely as possible in all areas of, of life, uh, according to really uh, sound principles based around the non-aggression principle. And so that's the, the overall mission of the voluntary life. And I'm very interested in any feedback you have about how you would like to uh, see the show expand or change or be something else or what you think uh, the opportunity would be. So thanks so much for listening. I really, really appreciate everyone's feedback and, and all of the support and uh, kind comments that I've received. It it's, uh, makes a huge difference to me and really helps with my motivation to, to do the show. So thank you so much for continuing to support the show and I look forward to hearing your comments. Thank you for listening to The Voluntary Life. If you have feedback about the show, please email jake at thevoluntarylife.com. If you enjoyed this program, please share the podcast with your friends or click the donate button on thevoluntarylife.com.